Let's demonstrate a stretching protocol for the rhomboids on the right side of the body. We have our client Justin seated on a bench facing the camera so we have an anterior view. The rhomboids are posterior musculature located between the spine and the scapula. Now whenever we want to stretch a muscle or musculature, we simply bring the client passively into a position that is the opposite of its joint actions. Because joint actions are concentric shortening functions and stretching a muscle is making it longer. The rhomboids retract the scapula, so we want to pull the scapula, the shoulder girdle, forward into protraction. And I'm going to use his arm as a lever to do that. We could try and push straight on the scapula, but it is logistically a bit challenging. So I'm holding his distal arm here, and I pull him across the front of his body into protraction. But the rhomboids also elevate the scapula, so I want to add in depression of the scapula. So when I pull his arm across the front of his body, I also pull it downward. And that is the position that is the line of pull for tension for the rhomboids here on the right side. But if I don't stabilize his trunk, he will simply rotate to that left side and I'll lose the stretch in the rhomboids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my lateral body wall against the left side of his posterior body to keep him from rotating to the left. If you want, for professional modesty, you could put a pillow, a cushion, a bolster between you and the client. So now stabilizing his trunk, I'm going to pull that arm across the front of his body and downward. And that protraction and depression of the scapula will be a very nice stretch for the rhomboids which do retraction and elevation of the scapula. One addendum to the stretching protocol for the rhomboids on the right hand side of the body is I can make the stretch more powerful by adding in manually protraction of the scapula. So let me have your right upper extremity, there we go. I'm going to stabilize his body with my left side body wall and I'm going to pull his arm across the front of the body and downward, get protraction and depression of the scapula. Then I'll use the heel of my hand, the base of the palm of my hand, I'll find the medial border of the scapula and I will push the scapula out laterally into protraction and depression. And if I'm moving the scapula farther away from the spine, then I am increasing the stretch for the rhomboids.